Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer, and thank you to another cold day here in Brisbane, Australia. Okay, my voice is a bit raspy because it's freezing, but we're going to get through this one today because today's video is about saging. So first of all, what is sage? Sage is a herb, or if you're in America, you call it a herb. It's a herb that <laughs> grows like any other herb does. And throughout history, they've used it for a lot of medicinal, medicinal opportunities. It actually helps with sore throats, it helps with coughs, it helps with respiratory problems, etc. So, what does it look like? I've got a sprig of herb of sage here. This is sage. Okay, as you can see, I burn it. Because I'll show you what I've got. This is my sage bowl. It's just a wooden bowl filled with sand. And it's got all my herbs on my sage in it. Okay. Um, you can also get little incest cones, etc. So you burn the tips of them and that starts a little flame as well. Okay, so I use sand because it's a way to extinguish the fire, fire, fire. Okay, so today we're going to talk about does this, burning this, what does it do in our houses? So let's just go there with a startup. Imagine that you move into a house, first time you've ever been there, and you just feel icky. You know those feelings that we get, yeah? You know those feelings that you get when you just think, oh, there's something lingering in this house. That is what we call energy. If there's a ghost or other being, because <laughs> remember, there could be other things lurking under the stairwells in the basement, right? So <laughs> those things are intelligent. Now, just getting myself organized here. So, a ghost or other entity, they're intelligent. So, when we light this, see, I'm lighting it now. So, you want the smoke, guys. You want the smoke. Here it comes. Okay? So, you want the smoke coming out. Oh, right. And I'm just going to hold him over the, the bowl of. Because I don't want it to burn my house down, right? So when we smoke out a house, what we're actually doing... Now, see, I'm just extinguishing it now. Putting it in here so it extinguishes out. Ba, 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 ba. So, see, it's finished now. Okay. Whew, yeah, baby. Um. So, let's just go there. When we fire up our sage what we're actually getting rid of is all that bad energy those lingering unintelligent vibes left by previous tenants people have been in the house or even things that have happened on that house the site the land okay so it could be i don't know um a rock fell down the hill and demolished a tree and now that tree is not liking it because it's got this big hole through it where the boulder hit it. So it doesn't have to just be human, okay? So when we're talking about energy, it's unintelligent. It's vibes. When I moved into this house eight years ago, boy, did I know something bad had happened here, okay? Okay. So I saged this house out, just using this, for about a week, okay? So when I had it lit, I was going into every corner of every room. You open up every cupboard and you put the sage in there so smoke fills the cupboards. I even put it under my bed so it fills up under the bed. I even go into the like the bathroom and I open the shower door so I spray it all through the shower. I open up my washing machine and sage smoke goes into the washing machine and my dryer. Um, I open the fridge, put some sage smoke in there because hello, that's not going to hurt it, right? If it's done in moderation, okay? 
every cupboard, every drawer or door I opened and you put sage in there. So there's no unintelligent energy lurking anywhere in my house. So what happened after I saged for about two weeks? That's when I started seeing the little boy here. He did not move out when I sage the house because he is an intelligent ghost. He was actually murdered in my other bedroom. I'm presuming by his mother. But I'll tell you what this saging did do. It got rid of all that <laughs> spidey sense of vibes that I had every time I walked into this house. Every time I walked in here, it was like, oh, you know when you just feel like when you know someone's had a fight and you walk into their house and you just know they've had a fight because you can feel that hatred in the air. That is what Sage helps get rid of. That is what we can definitely assist in nicking off and going away. So do we just light the sage and just oh, wave it around blindly? No, because when we sage, we've also got to say our rules and our boundaries. My first rule is this is my house, my rules. If you don't obey, then nick off. You are not welcome. If you don't like my negative and uh, my positive energy that I emit in this house, nick off. Because only good loving energy is allowed in my space. Now, did you notice what I just said? Energy. I didn't say entities. Only good loving energy is allowed in this space. Because what you find is generally a ghost spirit whoever entity if they're negative then they have negative energy yes dun, da, da, da. now we're getting there okay because if you've got a good loving ghost like my dog like my little girl like roy who turns up every now and again they are welcome here because they have good loving energy whereas other people that have been at my house little nasty ghosts first thing i say is nick off you're not welcome here and they don't stay because it's on their own free will because it's intelligent entity okay so this by itself does help get rid of negative energy energy but it's when we say our rules when we say my i don't allow you to do this no ghosts are allowed in my bedroom that is an off-site zone you're not allowed in there so i say it's very clear any ghosts you have no right no permission to go in my bedroom if you do you are gone because I'll call in Michael, I'll call in Gabriel, Uriel and all the other gorgeous angels and you'll be evicted. So you can leave now or do it the hard way. And usually they leave, okay? They don't go in my bedroom, okay? Another rule I have, please don't walk around on my floors when I'm trying to sleep. I've got wooden floors out in my dining room and some nights I can count for well, you can actually hear it because when your heel goes down, it goes heel toe, heel toe, heel toe of a shoe. Like that. So some nights I can lie in bed and I can count about six people walking around in my house. And you think, really? Shut the heck up. I'm trying to sleep. So I walk out there. Hey guys, it's Linda. Thank you for letting me know you're here. So I'm respectful. However, my house, my rules. If you wish to stay, please know that you've got to be quiet because I'm still alive. I've still got a body. I need my sleep and I'm tired. And you don't mess with Linda when she's tired. <laughs> so I'm honest. 
So they be quiet after that, okay? But will this help to get rid of them? Eh, no, sorry. It's only if we spread our words of our rules and our boundaries at the same time. So I've been to houses where people say, I want everything gone. Yes, I like this. I like my sage. And as I'm walking around the house, going into every nook and cranny, opening up every door, trying not to see what they're hiding in the cupboards. So I put the sage in the cupboards under the beds. And I don't care if the bed's made or not, because hell, I'm not there to see how tidy they live. I'm there to get rid of entities and energies. So I use this to use get rid of my energies. But then my word, my name is Linda. I am a representative of the owner of this house, being whoever it is. They have given me authority today, whereby I can tell you to neck off. You're not welcome here anymore. Go find somewhere else to habitat. Go find someone else to hang around with, because these people no longer want you in their house. Neck off under the white loving angels of the universe as I'm waving this around <laughs> so that's how we sage your house okay you got to put this smoke into every and I'm just going to light it again every nook and cranny you open up and I'm just doing it here live on TV so you can see what I'm doing da, 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 da. there it goes every nook and cranny you open a door and you stick it in there so your whole cupboard fills up with the smoke when you've finished, use our health and safety, guys. Don't wet it to put it out. Look at the smoke coming out of it now. My own room's... Oh, God, I've got a smoke alarm in here. I better put it out. Okay, so you got to remember, guys. I just remembered I've got a smoke alarm in here. <laughs> One, smoke alarms. They can go off. Okay. Two, just making sure my smoke alarm doesn't go off. Two, make sure it's out because you don't want kids or anyone else, animals especially, to knock this over and it starts a, a house fire, okay? Be sensible, especially when using lighting devices, matches, lighters, etc. okay? I'm just gonna open my door up to let some smoke in. Because I don't want my smoke alarm to go off. Okay, so basically in a nutshell, guys, Saging, does it work? Yes, if you want to get rid of residual energy, which is non-intelligent. Two, does it work on entities like ghosts? It's up to their free will if they want to move out. But it's generally what we say whilst we're saging. Okay, so I hope that helps you today, guys. Now, if this has helped you, go do it. Go buy yourself a sage stick. They're on eBay for about $10, $15, sage sticks, okay? I always say put it into sand because you don't want to get them wet because then they go, eh, okay? It's not nice because they've been dried out. You don't want to hydrate them, okay? Um, what's another tip of the trade here? Um, if you're going to do it, always do your protection first. So you say, you know what, universal energies, white loving universe angels come down. I'm about to sage this house. Please stand behind me. And as I go around, stand with me. Be my warrior today. I wish Archangel Michael to come in today. And as I walk around saging the house, <laughs> as I walk around saging the house today, please stand behind me and protect me. Please assist me with getting out all these energies today out of my house. Energies. Okay? Because ultimately, we all have energy. Okay? Everything has an energy. But not all energy has an entity. Okay? Think of it that way. Okay? So this helps get rid of energies. Negative energies. But it's how we say the words. So let's just say, like you've got a nasty in your house. My name is Linda. I am the rightful owner of this property. And it doesn't matter if you're the tenant or you're just a squatter. Because if you're living there, you're the rightful owner, right? I am the rightful owner of this property. I give no right and I give no permission 
for any energies or entities within this space to attach to my mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field. I give absolutely no right or permission and I absolutely give no consent to anyone to be present in this building. I give no consent for you to stay. In other words, right now, F off. Get out of my house. And don't come back. Thank you very much. That's what I say. I say that about four or five times a week when I do my saging, when I do out my cleansing on my own house. Because even though, and I've lived here now for eight years, my house still gets negative energies coming in. Okay, think of it. Think of it. The wind blows in energies every day. Okay, I open my door, I go up to the shop. You don't know what you're going to get attached to while you're just walking down aisle six getting cat food. Anybody could be walking down there like, and then you pick that up, you bring that energy home. So you get up the sage, that guy that just was in aisle six, Nick off, I give you no right, I give you no permission to attach to my mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field. Nick off, don't come near me anymore. Outside of my house, you've got no right to be in my house. That's how we do it. That's how I do it. And I have absolutely zero negative energies in my house. Even though in this house has had some very, very negative situations, events and occurrences over the years since it was built about 30 years ago. There was a murder in this house. The people here before me, I found out they were nasty types, drug dealers. They were fighting every day where the police was coming here to this house every single day. What sort of energy do you think that built up? But it's not here now. I have people walk in my door and they go to sleep when they sit down because it's so calming in my house. Is that the energy you want in your house? So I'm sure it is. <laughs> so how do I do it? I get out my sage stick and I just say, be respectful, obviously. And I just say, you know what? Your time is done. I'm now the owner of this house. You are no longer allowed here. And that generally works. If you do have serious issues and it doesn't work after all that, contact me. My email is below. If you've liked this today, please know that if you go and hire someone to come and sow your house, you're looking at anywhere between... 50 and 300 dollars for someone to come and save your house so if you've decided today you want to do it yourself based on my video and you want to tip me for it i've now got a link that you can do downstairs um in the description you can go and tip me through the tip jar um hello why not um yeah saves you a lot of money getting somebody else to do it because that's ultimately why i do development right so i teach you guys how to do this yourself so we're standing in our own grounds we're standing in our own authority and own power and this is how we get rid of any negative energies or entities around us guys we need to stick strong we need to stick together most of all we need to stick in love hope you've had a good day i hope that's helped please comment below share this with your friends if they've got something going on okay let me know your feedback, okay? And I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.